it's Tuesday. Mr. Dwyer said he, people would think I was nuts if I did that. Maybe I am, but at least it got you looking. So good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, October 27th. It is day two in the calendar, and Mr. Dwyer can't look at me straight right now. And I'm sure this TV, the camera is shaking because he is laughing. For our scripture reading and prayer this morning, I want to read and reflect on a, a poem that I found that is called Stretch Into It. And actually, it is based on yesterday's gospel about the woman who was bent over. The woman was completely bent, completely, not just a little bit, but totally unable to stand up straight. Each of us is to some extent that bent woman. Each of us can spend our lives looking at mud puddles, mourning the tragedies and sins of human life, wanting what we have not been given, resenting what we have been given, afraid of what we will be given, creating a whole world of negativity. God knows there's enough to be negative about, but faith means that we can see through the darkness into the core of light within. And faith says, believe in it, see it, bathe in it, spend prayer time knowing it is there. Find it, stretch yourself into it. These things, these transient, small, and insignificant things, compared to the weight of glory, they are the several doors. Doors to the joys, the serene and heart-stopping happiness that will steal in and saturate body and soul and spirit, world without end. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We face the flag and we say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated quietly, please. I saw this prayer and found it sort of completely unexpectedly, but it made me think, especially when I saw the line this morning, God knows there is enough to be negative about. And we all know that in our life right now, as we have been for the last several months, in a situation where it is easy to find the negative, being separated from one another in some cases, having to go to school online, having to not see our friends, having to stay inside sometimes. And some of you say, Father, tell my parents it's okay for me to come to school, and your parents want you to be home. All types of things have changed, not only for you, but for all of us. Teachers who are teaching two ways, who are teaching to the room and to the Zoom at the same time, uh, looking at you, at, at, in, your, in front of you, in front of them in class, and looking at you who are home on your computer monitors or your phones. Yep, there's plenty to be negative about. However, this poem prayer doesn't end that way. Because after that line that says, God knows there's enough to be negative about, the next line says, but faith means that we can see through the darkness. Faith, faith in God, faith in ourselves, faith in humankind, faith helps us to realize that today is not the end that there is more to come. And what, what is to come, we may not always be aware of, but those who have faith in God can see that faith says, it's not just the darkness of today, but there is light to come tomorrow. And we are called to believe in it and to pray about it and to find it and to move ourselves into it. That woman in yesterday's gospel who was all bent over, could only see 
the puddles on the ground, I was not able to see the sky above or the sun or the birds or even people's faces. We are called to see beyond the puddles of the moment, the darkness of the moment, to stand up straight, to believe that this is not all there is, and to see the faces of those around us and God's creation surrounding us. That is what we are called to do in today's prayer. Along with that, um, we'd like to announce, if you haven't already heard, that we're going to celebrate Halloween here on Saturday. We will have Halloween for the neighborhood, for young people, little kids up to the ages of 12. And we're going to have 20 or 30 stations going around the campus and that kids can come or trick or treat there. Some of the CCD kids in Holy Name and some of you have already volunteered to assist, but if you're willing to help out in one way or another, please make sure you see Mr. J in these days or send him an email uh, that you want to be able to help with carrying out Halloween on Saturday. In another note, uh, because it's already October 28th, uh, it's a reminder that the first quarter already comes to an end next Tuesday, November the 3rd. If you've fallen behind, please catch up. If you're doing well, don't falter. I've looked at a number of people's progress reports. I'm very happy with, this, with the reports that I have seen. Uh, keep up the good work and do not lose heart. But remember, you have one week till the end of the first quarter. Thanks and have a good day. Good morning, I'm Christian Padula. Please pay attention to the following announcements. I need more candy. Youth Ministry will have a meeting today, October 27th, in room 101 and virtually after school. Please check your emails for the Zoom link after lunch. Good morning, Salesian High School. The 2020 election is upon us and we've decided again to host our own mock election. Each one of you will be receiving an email on Monday, October 26th, with a ballot with the names of Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Please fill out that ballot, which is a Google form, and return it or email it back by Wednesday, October 28th at 8 a.m. This way we can tally up the votes and determine who you guys think should be the next president of these United States. Thank you guys very much, and God bless America. I need more candy. Grigio Salesian's Literary Magazine is now open for submissions for its upcoming fourth issue. Meetings are Thursdays at 3 p.m. via Zoom. All are welcome to attend with any stories, poems, art, or ideas you may want published this year, or if you simply want to learn more about the club and get involved. Instructions on how to attend meetings and all submissions can be sent to Mr. Marinaccio by email at amarinaccio at salesianhide.org. That's amarinaccio at salesianhide.org. Improv will be meeting today from 3 to 4.30, both in person and online, outside Flaherty Hall. If you're interested in joining, please email Mr. Dwyer at kdwyer at salesianhigh.org or simply show up. All are welcome to participate or watch. Bring me some candy. Thank you, have a wonderful day, and it's a great day to be an eagle.